This thing is a monster. The well-being scale describes many years during an attack as six days before death. You know, it's a dumping ground diagnosis. They rule everything out and then they throw us all in this pool. This film is for the people on bed. Both of my primary care physicians say I'm the most severe case they'd seen. And it's difficult to treat. All we can do is deal with your symptoms. First thing we're gonna do, we gotta put some weight on you because this is not weight loss, this is wasting away. So look at your arms. I've had Meniere's for three years. There was a day when Meniere's moved in. It kind of came in like a guest, stayed as a host, and then moved in as owner of the house. I had no balance at all, no equilibrium or anything. I didn't know I had Meniere's. I didn't know what it was. I thought it was just vertigo. Vertigo is a sensation of mo movement when there is no movement. Patients will typically describe it as a spinning. Those of you who have Meniere's will know exactly what I'm talking about. You lay down or you put your head back in a certain way or you'll be in a certain situation and wow, you start getting the spins and you start feeling awful. And sometimes that hangover, the hangover can last a week. A lot of times they're mistaken for a stroke. Um, it's that serious. A lot of sodium in your diet complicates Meniere's disease. Poison to me. I can't eat meat. I smell it. I get sick. Couldn't see any lights. Scented trash bags. I can't have anything. I throw up. It's, it's exhausting. For having hearing loss, and sensory overload at the same time. Noise is a problem. I just found out I have hearing loss in both ears. So now I have to think about, am I gonna go deaf someday? Because doctors don't know if I'm gonna go deaf. Well, you sounded fine on Tuesday. You don't look sick. They have three different ways to say, I know. I know the fire's hot because I read it in a book. I know the fire's hot because I saw someone get burned. Or I know the fire's hot because I've been burned. We've been burned. The physicians, practitioners, they have not been burned. They read it in a book. But the problem is there's no money in Meniere's. I don't mean to pick on healthcare, but it is all about money. It's all about money. Do the symptoms of Meniere's make you want to just stay inside and, and close, close the, the whole world? down. It's not necessarily anxiety from the symptoms of Meniere's, it's that anxiety is a component of the disease. I went into um, a depression. Horrible depression, never known anything like it. I lived in absolute silence for two years, didn't want to work on anything, didn't care. I stopped caring. Energy is like the new currency for me. I have to decide every day how I want to spend it. How much do I have? Who do I want to spend it on? I lost a lot of friends because the novelty of a Meniere's person wears off really quick. You know, the reason for this film is for the suffers. These are the ones crawling to the bathroom 
throwing up, living a horrible life. This film is for you. I've been there too. Uh, love yourself, take care of yourself, talk to your loved ones, talk to your friends, live your life. I had to relearn to walk, so that gave me hope, so I'm giving you hope. Anything it is that you think you'll never do again, you're gonna do it. You will walk again.